Behind me here is a nice block of raspberries. Uh, they've started to creep from underground rhizomes and pop up new plants. And so I wanted to talk to you about propagation. We're going to talk extensively about seed production, but there are many plants in the garden setting that you would want to grow from transplants. And like most of us, we're going to patronize uh, the nurseries and the, the box stores and the garden centers, and we're going to be buying tons of stuff anyways. I just want to show you a few tricks of the trade to keep you from spending tons of money unnecessarily. So you can take the plants such as raspberries and divide them and separate them from the mother plant and start new plants. Whether you have one plant and you want to start more or if you've bought one plant and you want to divide off of it to transplant to make a whole row of them or your neighbor has a very desirable plant, you might want to divide those. We'll talk extensively about this um, during the semester, but I just wanted to show you a, a, an example. So again, behind me I have great varieties of raspberries that I've been trialing. And so I'm going to dig up a couple hundred rhizomes and uh, transplant. So here is the parent plant. Underneath the ground, there's a sucker coming out and it's popping up here. And so what we can do is we can take these size of plant and we can literally just dig it up. You want to get as much of the root as you can. And if we actually followed that root back, we would find it connected to the parent plant. But now what I've done is I've created, I haven't created, I've just dug up an individual plant, separated it from the parent plant. It has a nice root ball on it. Uh, I would go take this over and transplant this and I'm gonna do a whole bunch of these. Um, if I lost quite a bit of the root mass, I would have to cut the tips off because these will bush and sucker from the base. You can already see new roots that wanna sprout out and make their own new plants. But potentially I would take the tops off with, uh, I would use my shears or my pruners, but this plant, I've just minimized the leaf surface area, and now when I transplant it, it won't go into shock. Again, when you're transplanting, you wanna water right away. So let's go plant this one. <laughs> So I took the raspberries from over there and I put them here in this line. I put them about every uh, 15 inches apart all the way down. And if I take one out, you can see that I've minimized the top. I've cut that off. And if I dig back down here to show you, here is my root mass. Here is the top. And this raspberry is ready to go and start a new plant. Um, and then the drip tape, I ran this all night long to give water to each plant. And so this uh, preparation, what I did was I tilled the soil, I spread my manure, and I came in and I hand planted all the uh, raspberries straight along the drip tape. 